the day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash and cold and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. I'd never seen anything so perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home, a new life, a new normal. But like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters, twins. Said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. They took everything from us, our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the West Coast helping folks like us rebuild. And they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them, convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope, our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. Captain, you're alive! Jesus! They're heading this way! Get up, Captain! Come on, get up! Who's the fucking highwaymen? They're gonna kill us! Get up, Captain, get up! Jesus, Barnes, you keep screaming like that, you're gonna bring them all down on us. Rush, you're alive! Help me! No, we have no time, we gotta go! Barnes? We are not leaving the cabin behind. They're coming fast. We need to stick together. Understood? Cap. Your time to shine. We need to get armed. We need to get our people. And we need you to find a way out of here. I know that. Easier said than done. One step at a time, Barnes. You lead, we'll follow. Oh my god. I thought it was dead. We need to find the armory way. Gear up. Save as many people as we can. This way, Barnes. Stick with the captain. We should cut our losses and run. We'll be fine. We to be safe.
big trouble if we get caught in that. We need to keep moving. Off, we don't find weapons. I've got sand in my arm! 
Watch out! Barnes! Christmas, everybody. Santa delivered a whole damn train full of presents. Ugh. What do we have here? Rabbit. I gotta ask you rabbits a question. The fuck you think was gonna happen? Riding in on a giant hunk of iron, just clouds of black smoke. You think we would've noticed? What do you want, Barnes? We wanna know. If your problem solvers are problem makers. What? <laughs> Our pops always told us that people either solve problems or make problems. The world's got too many fucking problems. And we're looking for people to help solve problems. Uh, our problems. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Food, clothes, guns. Anything you need. <laughs> Even health insurance. <laughs> but if you make problems well, Pops taught us what to do with problem makers. Problem makers need to be solved. Mm -hmm. Old man solved a shit ton of problems in his day. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, rabbits. Are you all problem solvers or problem makers? We solve problems. We've been solving problems all over this country. Barnes. We can give you fresh water, build shelters. We can get you anything you need. Barnes, shut up. You can build all that? Well, I'm not me, but Rush here. then you are gonna be our number one problem solver. Go fuck yourself. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Try this again. You're gonna help solve problems for us, Mr. Rush? Hmm. Okay. Save yourself! Oh, oh. Wake up, wake up. I recognize you from the train. You're captain of security, right? I'm Carmina. Oh my god, I saw you hit the water and I was able to pull you out before you drowned, but near as I can tell, I think we're the only ones who got away. Come on. Okay. We have to be careful. The twins, they took off with Rush, but a lot of the highwaymen, they stuck around. Okay, we, we have to get back to Hope County. My mom, my mom, she'll know what to do. Come on. Hello, mister. Come on, we just need to follow the river to get to Hope County. I can't believe what happened. They must have seen the train coming. 
I should have known better. Those fucking twins, Mickey and Lou. The first time I saw them was when they came to our house. Said it was their house now. And we could either leave willingly or they'd burn it down with us inside. My dad tried to fight. So they took him. Then they took the house. My mom and I were forced to start over on our own. We weren't their only victims. But my mom managed to bring survivors together and we all tried to build a place where we could sit. blocking our way. We're gonna need some firepower. Let's keep moving. I passed through that old nine when I left to get help. There's a workbench inside. You can use it to build a weapon. Rush was supposed to be the final piece so that we could finally fight back. But now, we're worse off than we were before. I told you about. Rush said you were resourceful, so let's build something.
You can use benches like this to build makeshift weapons and refill ammo. Nice going. That'll be enough to craft a weapon for sure. Holy shit, is that some kind of saw launcher? That's amazing. Man, those highwaymen are in for it now. Now we're ready to attack the bridge. I'm gonna 
gonna stick my foot down your throat and wear you like a sock! All right, the way's clear. There's the tunnel up ahead. Let's go home. Come on, we're almost there. There it is. I hope mom is okay. Kids, go back inside. I'll be right there. What's wrong? There is a whole train full of people to help us. But... The highwaymen? The twins? They took Rush? Everyone else was killed. Oh my god. It was terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I never should have gone out there, Mom. I... Oh, honey. What are we gonna do now? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, no one's coming to help us. We're on our own. It's just us. Shh. Let's get you both inside. You can tell me the whole story. Thank you for bringing her home. around this valley better than anybody. So? So? Sitting around moping isn't doing any good. Look, Rush was supposed to help us build someplace safe. Now, it's up to us. There are brave people here scattered around. We just have to find them. Bring everyone together. Show them we can stand up to the highwaymen. Mom, it's not gonna be easy. I know. But it's our only choice. Working my ass off here, but it feels worth it.
Cap, have you got a minute? Don't know what we'll do when we run out of duct tape. Honestly didn't think Carmilla would come back, let alone with help. The more people we bring... to go around. Gotta make do with what we've got. Yeah, I know. So, this is it. Home. Mom's right. The two of us can work together to build this place back up. Anytime you need a hand, give me a call. I'll come fight by your side, Cap. You don't mind if I call you Cap, right? Captain of security just sounds, well, a little formal. Listen, you have been put through the ringer. If you want to freshen up with a change of clothes before we get started, there's some stuff over there. You should probably talk to Mom. She'll give you the rundown on what we can do for prosperity. Whatever else happens, I'm glad Carmina made it back. Hello, sir. Hey, mister. I've got some things to tell you. My name is Kim. I guess you could say I run things around here. I know you've already been through a lot, Captain. But the truth is, we need all the help we can get. And at the moment, you're it. We thought your people on that train were gonna give us an edge. We were all gonna work together to grow things, make things. We were gonna fight back against the twins. But all of that is gone now. So? It's up to us. Got a lot of work to do. Let me show you how things work around here. This is prosperity. If we're gonna have a fighting chance against the highwaymen, the first thing we've gotta do is get this place up and running. We have several facilities to make prosperity thrive. These are the places where you can craft weapons and vehicles, cultivate plants for health, and many other things. This is Hope County. In order to get the most out of our facilities, we need ethanol to upgrade them. Your map shows the highwaymen outposts, where they store the ethanol they stole from us. Secure these locations to get what we need. And here's where you can find specialists. People with the expertise to really give us a fighting chance against the twins. Bring them home, and they'll make prosperity and you stronger. But without Thomas Rush, none of this is gonna work. He's built up settlements before, and without his knowledge, we won't be able to take Prosperity to the next level. Lately, the twins are sending a lot of prisoners to the coal mine. I'd start looking there. So, that's it. We rescue Rush, find people who can run the facilities, and bring them enough ethanol to maximize what we can craft. If you can help us, we'll do everything we can to help you. So you come in with... I want to see this county before I die. Hey. We're gonna have to get serious about building this place up.
You got horseshoes up your ass for surviving that crash. Happy you made it. Hi there. I heard about what happened. Sorry about your people, Captain. At least you ended up in the best place Hope County has to offer. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen the rest. Me? I'm Roger, Prosperity's personal pilot. Seriously, anytime you need a lift back to Prosperity, you can count on me. It's the least I can do for you, my friend. And uh, if you want a little uh, extra, I can see to that too. I used to rip off five women strongholds all over the country. Scored some really cool stuff. But ever since those Collies, the twins, showed up, excuse my language, it's impossible to gather enough ethanol to fly outside of Hope County. Hey, I tell you what, if you can find me the fuel I need, we'll go rip off highwaymen together. It won't be easy, but trust me, it's worth the risk. Get me that ethanol, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I don't want to count my chickens or anything, but... Glad you're gonna help out Prosperity. Heard Wade Fowler plan to start up a new fang center at the old church down the way. Rumor has it he met a tragic end. But there might be supplies you could recover. good for you promise oh thank goodness you're so nice i'm bean creator of wikibenia you know your one-stop shop for maps and intel wikibenia just the tips but here's the rub wikibenia is in danger my key assets are all gone intel maps you name it and now my business plan is missing too but but i i know who gave me the shaft my employee richard he's got a real bad gambling habit always playing crazy eights with those highwaymen and losing his pants he must have hidden the plan somewhere for safekeeping, else they just take it from him. They're not very nice, or respectful. His usual gambling place isn't far from here. If you spook him, he'll run and lead you right to his hidey hole. I'm sure of it. I'd go, but I've got bad knees. <laughs> and lungs. A and eyes. Anyway, please get my business plan back. If you reach around my back now, I'll reach around yours later. That's a Wikibenia promise. chapters all over the country, and every now and then they send supply drops to help each other out. 
If you see a plane, it's likely one of theirs. It's always a race to see who can claim the drop first, and it's always a fight. <laughs> I wonder what's gonna happen next. Roger, see you soon. I used to hunt those with my dad. No, 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 not like this. Don't shoot. What's up, dude? Look, okay, yes, 
I lost my clothes in a game of cards. Ha ha ha. I have a problem, all right? I didn't mean for things to get this bad. I was one of Bean's scouts, and I thought that since the highwaymen travel so much, they'd be a good source of information. They said they'd play me for it, and before I knew it, I'd gambled away all of Bean's assets. The only things I had left to offer were the clothes off my back and Bean's business plan. The plan's in my secret stash, in a little bunker just over the hill there. I promise I'll never gamble again. Oh, Christ! Please help me!
fair share of people willing to trade. For a lot of us, it's the only way to stay alive. Let's you see people with backpacks wandering around, it's a good idea to see what items they're carrying or what they're willing to pay for yours. Hello! Oh, oh, oh hello there! <laughs> I'd clap for joy, but my daddy always said that was for clowns and babies, and I'm neither. Remember I mentioned the reach around your back? Well, I'm gonna set up Wikibenia HQ and prosperity starting now. I got scouts collecting hot tips, and I'll get maps again. And, well, you'll see. With my business plan, Wikibenia will go global. Just like Daddy always talked about how it was before. Everyone will help us and give us donations. It'll be great. I'll see you at prosperity always soon, right? You, right. I can't wait. Well, have a nice time until then. We all got our reasons for wanting those masks. our people and taking them to their bullet factory. Get in the way of any prisoner trucks you see and free the hostages. We need everyone in this fight. That was too close.
Mom's doing the best she can, but she can't build prosperity alone. We've all got to pitch in. stars. Something that can't, you know, eat people. 